So this is one of the three dome lights out of the back of my 2017 Lexus RX 350. And it had incredibly dim little incandescent bulbs in there. So I bought, uh, I bought some bulbs off of eBay. And then I tried to take this cover off and man what a pain in the ass so I'm doing this to show you what holds it in place and what you need to do to get it apart this tab right here let's see let's try this oops this tab right here this tab right here can I touch it yeah there it is and then this piece of plastic here that has this little hole. There's a little hole in it down here. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. There it is. That little hole. That hole right... Right there. That hole right there. That connects to the tabs on the side. Go here and here. And then that little hole gets this little pin stuck in it. It's not easy to get it off. So I'm going to put it back on. And then I'm going to show you how I got it off. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it snapped back in place. So what I did was, I had this wooden skewer for uh, for cooking. Uh, you could use a toothpick, I would imagine. And I also have a, let me set this down. I have my Swiss Army knife. So I jam that in there to get tension on it, but not enough to break it. And then I go on either side and lift these tabs up just a little bit. Don't want to break them. Got to be careful. And then you can feel it pop. See how it came loose there? Now those two are loose. So I've got the back end. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'll edit it, maybe I won't. I just snapped it back in place. <coughs> One more time. One tab. Two tabs. There it came loose. So now I've got I've got this part. I've got this part loose. So now we come around to this part. And all the time I'm putting pressure with my fingers up against this plastic pushing against it so that when when it finally does come loose that it'll pop out so I, I put my blade end of my Swiss Army knife down in that slot in the front and I twist and I push and you got to put a little bit of pressure on it don't cut yourself and you can get it to So I got it in there. It's hard to keep it on camera and and put the pressure on at the same time, but it's almost out. You can see it's moved off the hole there a little bit. So now I'll put the pressure back on. And I should be able to. Come on.
There. <coughs> so you see how hard it is to I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take and trim this tip down so that it just barely catches when I put it back together so that the next time I go to take this out, if there is a next time, because this is an LED, but they do go bad, um, it won't be so hard. But yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. And um, the, other, the other tip I have for you is the side opposite the switch is the side you should gently pry at to get this to pop. You don't have to dig down in there, you just have to put something like the edge of a screwdriver or some kind of piece of plastic if you have a, uh, a tool for taking uh, interiors apart that, that has that plastic wedge on it that would get under there and pop it out. And then disconnect it and before you put that cover back on, plug it in and see that it lights up because some of these, I don't know if specific to this one, I'll put the link to this in the description. Uh, I don't know if it's specific to this one, but some of these are uh, polarity sensitive. So if you turn on the switch, you plug it in, you turn on the switch and it doesn't light up, just pull it out and flip it around and put it back in. And it should light up for you. If it doesn't, then it might be a bad one. So you might want to uh, you might want to swap it with another one if that's the case. But but that's how you get that cover off. So apparently these that I bought are not polarity sensitive because it works both ways. <clears throat> so here's what I'm talking about snapping in. The light just goes back in the corner and snaps like that and you're all done so you just need to pry, to pry it back out here hold on you can just use a screwdriver where did they go? I went down here so I went in the bottom front and just put a screwdriver under there and that pops that out and then you get the whole deal out and then you disconnect it here like that and then you can take and work on the unit but I'm not going to pop the cover off again because that's a pain in the ass there you go that's how you change them uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching bye